George, you are the holder of the Jean Morlet Share at CIRM for the first semester 2020 in collaboration with Erwan Rousseau, the local holder. Even if the context is very particular, can you tell us a few words about the theme and objectives of your semester at CIRM? Sure, yeah. Uh, the, well, the theme is foliation theory and complex geometry. Foliation theory is kind of uh, is a relatively new subject, uh, it, contrary to algebraic geometry, which uh, very classical. So, foliation theory has its origins in the beginning of uh, the 20th century or ended of the 19th. Works of uh, Poincaré, Poincaré, and, and uh, it uh, has has faced a revival in the 1960s or 50s with the work of even 40s, I don't know, even with the work of Reb and others. And uh, nowadays it's a relatively small field with uh, practitioners in France, Brazil, Mexico, Russia. And um, since the, the end of the 90s, it started to draw a lot of bridges with algebraic geometry and complex algebraic geometry, especially. And this, uh, the theme is essentially to try to enlarge these bridges, to foster communication between the two communities, the community of people working in foliation theory and the community of people working in algebraic geometry and complex geometry. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's a, it's a timely, uh, it was a timely proposal because we, uh, we somehow this is, this semester is a kind of continuation of, uh, of um, ANR project by uh, Juan Rousseau and others. Uh, on called foliage, which is already trying to foster this interaction between the people from foliation and algebraic geometry. And uh, also it follows, it has, uh, we had the idea of uh, proposing this after a, a few uh, successful meetings that, that we had before, the first one organized by myself, uh, Indeed, the main organizers were James McKernan and Paulo Caccini, and I helped with the organization, some meeting that happened in New York a few years ago. And uh, this, with this ANR project, we have been organized, or uh, Erwan, and, uh, Stéphane Poel, and Franck Lohé, uh, and others have been organizing uh, several schools, so and, uh, meetings are always trying to uh, connect different aspects of these two, two fields. And so we found, uh, indeed this, uh, we, we decided together with F1 to apply for this Jean Molestin share uh, in one of these meetings. It was a meeting that uh, we organized in Porquehol. Very nice. And uh, in one of the evenings we discussing uh, what to do next, and this uh, this appear as a good uh, good opportunity. First uh, event of the, your share is uh, varieties with trivial canonical class a workshop that currently taking place virtually. Can you explain uh, the objectives of uh, this workshop? Yeah, this is uh, this workshop uh, essentially was no go. It's it's it's. It's a funny history because uh, our objectives changed uh, through time. So in the first moment when we were preparing the project for the for the chair, uh, we uh, this, the, the theorem didn't exist yet. They had uh, we had, there were available partial results on the theorem on the, the composition of singular varieties of uh, S and while a very a very important breakthrough by Stefan Druel. And our original idea was to, to put together the specialists on the subject to try to advance, to try to improve our understanding of the question and who knows, try to prove the theorem. So 
from the moment where uh, I, I submitted the proposal to the general chair and uh, I had the interview at CM for, for the chair, appeared the paper by Andreas Herring and Thomas Peternel, who proved the, 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 the forcing us to change our goals. So the, the workshop became uh, more or less like a school where we uh, wanted now no longer to prove the theorem, but to, to explain a theorem. And, uh, and that's the, the, the effort we are working on. We are trying to produce uh, resources for people who want to understand this result. And uh, we hope that we will do it and I hope that it will be useful. We are, of course, forced to do it in a, in a different format, but uh, how it out. The exceptional circumstances of lockdown are giving rise to a new type of event, virtual and recorded lectures, followed by virtual discussions. These events can be followed via video conference means and live YouTube. Did you find it difficult to set up? Can you tell us a bit more about it? Yeah, uh, well, first of all, I, I have to say that uh, none of this is my idea. So somehow I, I have to thank a lot of people for helping me or for putting together this event. And the first one that I would like to mention is Daniel Webb. So before CIRM contacted me with the possibility of doing a, an event online, he was already pushing us, uh, all the participants, or all the speakers from the conference, to uh, not uh, forget the idea of preparing uh, proceedings. So uh, I start to contact some of the speakers and had a very positive response from them. And I guess that this, this positive response put me on, a, on the right mindset. So, uh, I'm not very used to do this kind of uh, organization stuff, and, and I never worked online with this kind of uh, producing online resources or trying to organize online conference. And so I guess that once CIRM uh, uh, contacted me, uh, and you uh, contacted me to, uh, with the possibility of organizing this conference, thanks to this uh, being in the right mindset, I, I didn't. Uh, I said yes. I, I will not say that I was ready in the first moment. That I hesitated a lot, but I said, "Come on, I have to do something. And let's try to do it." But uh, I think that was the harder part to say yes, because once I said yes, uh, everybody at Sim was very, very helpful and essentially did all the work. I have to say that uh, without you, Stephanie, without Celine. Without Olivia, without Guillaume, without Patrick, it would be impossible to do it. And, uh, and it's also very pleasant to work with you, very easy, and it's, uh, I'm not doing anything. So. And uh, also, there were, we, I received support from, uh, from Juan and from Juan Rousseau and Frank Rohe, the other organizers, and uh, all the speakers which, uh, who accepted to to give the talks and to record the talks. But then the, what I think it's really hard to do in these times and with the events is that we have faced it with a completely different kind of circumstances, right? So if events at CIRM, you enter, uh, when you go to an event, to an event at CIRM, you, you enter a kind of time bubble. You have one week to think only about math, to, brief math from the breakfast <laughs> until the dinner. And uh, nowadays, and to organize this uh, event, we cannot assume that we are still in this situation. If it, even if it, we are trying to keep some of the ambience of an event at CIRM, it's, it's not the same thing, of course. So we only, we have to face with, uh, cope with a lot of different problems. We have to clean our room, our houses, we have to Cook, we have to entertain our children, we have to prepare online classes, and so we had uh, that, uh, that was one also one of the difficulties. 
since we are entering uncharted territory, it's hard to see what's the right form. So for this event, and, and as an experiment, we try to, to do this arrangement where we pre-recorded the talks, requesting not a very high commitment from the speakers, and try to focus the interaction part, which is, I think, one of the wonderful things that we have at CIRM, which is a lot of interaction. We, cannot, we could not uh, think of doing or of organizing a conference without the interaction part. When we try to focus or to put this interaction part into, into discussion, problem sessions to see, to see how it goes. But somehow, it's, uh, I think it's too early to comment on that. We have to wait until next week to see how it will work. Would you say something to your virtual participants, to, your, to the speakers? Yeah, sure. Um, so the, the, the meeting, we, we have uh, nine recorded sessions online already, and uh, we are just after this, uh, this interview, we are going to record the last one. And uh, so they, they should be online uh, this Saturday. Everything should be online. And uh, we are going to have two discussion sections, or more specifically, more precisely, one discussion session next Tuesday. 3 p.m. French time, and one problem section, 3 p.m. French time. So we hope that uh, most of the participants will be able to attend, but for those who will not be able to attend, uh, they can send their questions, uh, comments to my, to my mail, which is available at the website, and we are trying to transmit them to the speakers uh, in the conference, of the conference so that they can comment in your question and hope to see you there.